Hello everybody and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 as Japan. Uh, we are continually in peace, uh, which uh, although I know is kind of boring for you guys, does mean that when the war does spark off, it's going to be pretty freaking awesome. Uh, we are currently uh, building up a new generate. well not a new generation, we're just building up more modern destroyers to replace older ones that we're going to be scrapping. Uh, we've got some new heavy cruisers being built, uh, a new, the Zuiho light carrier class is being researched and then is going to be put out to replace the old light cr carriers that we currently have just sitting around. Uh, and I'm hoping that we can, uh, we can get to war with France since we can't really go to war with anyone else because they have a treaty with each other. Even then, I probably wouldn't... I mean, I could maybe do something against Great Britain. Uh, I could definitely do something against Russia on my own. But Great Britain and Russia? Definitely not. Uh, and we're not going to poke the bear that is the United States. So, France is the objective. Uh, but let's go to the next turn. During a coronation review, there's been a collision between our ships and ship from France. Uh, result of clumsy maneuvering by an ill-trained crew of the ship from France. I was on support there, currently baffled by the problems of improved high-pressure steam plants. Okay, turrets and gun mountings, improved power rammers, and gradual rate of fire, national rate of fire improvement. Uh, well on the way to understanding advanced AP cap design, uh, baffled by the problems of Higgs boats. Alright, yeah, increasing that tension with France, we need that to be up, we need that to go ahead so that we can just go to war with them. Next turn, the Shikaku has finished her working up. Note that she has no air group signed, and so does the Kaga. One of our major shipyards is short on orders. They want to build us another destroyer. Right, we'll take that offer for 10% discount, which will be nothing, but we'll take it. Yep. Okay, Prime Minister floats the idea of trying to improve relations with Germany by making some compromises on outstanding issues. What's the response to it? Good idea. We'll lower tensions with Germany. We need to. Advanced AP cap design. Gradual AP improvement. Okay. The Zuiho. Build up two of you. Alright. We got those going. 12 months for these destroyers to be ready. We won't have enough money in the coffers for that. So we'll, we will have to put something on. Uh, hmm. What construction are you? We might have enough for that. Okay, next turn. U.S. government is offering us rights to AP, AP projectiles, super heavy shells. That is good. We're going to buy that. Gradual AP penetration improvement. Uh, a new U.S. torpedo bomber called the Vanguard, the Verat Vanguard, is entering service. It is rumored to be faster than our fast torpedo bomber. Okay. Do you, do you need to look at these? Because they are starting to get old. Our torpedo bomber is the oldest out of our current bombers. So we're going to go ahead and put a request in for a new one. So for a torpedo bomber, again, I never know exactly what I want from this thing. Uh, but we want it to be tough and reliable so okay we got that going in so the old fighters being phased out for the new one hasn't helped that the new one's been got uh, or like got a new version of itself not too long ago uh, but all these are slowly being phased in like our old medium bombers still got 84 but our new ones yeah going in it's, it's getting better it's getting better as time goes on so <sighs> next turn oh shit I forgot to do the co uh, yes we'll put both of them up and we'll look at what they've got air groups uh, Kaga and the Chicago dive bomber they're all 12 torpedo bombers got 12 in like a single squadron We'll try that. Basically, it means they've got five Sentai instead of six on all these, but we'll see how they work out. Uh, we are going to go ahead and make sure that they are on reserve fleet because they are expensive to keep going right now. Reserve. 
Yes, it saves us a little bit of money. Okay. Next turn, by the way, France. We need to up our tension with France. Improve damage control practices. Gradual damage control improvement. That's good. Okay, a lot of these are... A lot of our squadrons and stuff are being re-equipped with the newer designs. That's good. France is now the highest tension out of everybody in the world with us. So we need to really push that. So, next turn... One of our major arm manufacturers wants to enter a technology sharing agreement with a company in Italy. We'll decrease tensions with Italy. Tech sharing might work out. Tachi companies developed an improved model of a dive bomber. Oh, wow. So the C. Uh, bomb loads are all the same. It's a little tougher. Uh, speed's a bit better. Or uh, range is a bit better. Speed is a bit better as well. Yeah, we'll take that. Get that going. Uh, we may have to go ahead and put you on... Halt you. Save a bit of money. So, keep going. Next turn. Our spies managed to get a hold of blueprints of a French heavy cruiser currently under construction. So they're using 6-inch guns for their heavy cruisers instead of 10-inchers, which were what we're using. They do have above-water torpedo tubes, which is something we need to remember, is that I think torpedo tubes can go on every ship now. So our new heavy cruiser designs after this one, whenever we, whatever we make them, definitely need to be upped. And ours are a bit heavier and a bit slower. But we do have better guns. So it's kind of like a give or take. All right. Torpedo technology. Advanced centerline torpedo mounts. Centerline torpedoes tubes allowed on ships up to 7,000 tons. That could work for light cruisers now. Hmm. Scientists report that they, have, they are currently baffled by problems of advanced ASW tactics. Okay. Come on, France. Just give me something to hate you for so we can go to war. During maneuvers, one of our ships uh, opened fire on a fishing boat from the USA, sinking the ship and killing several fishermen. How do you react? The boat was fishing in a restricted area. Lose a bit of prestige. We don't want to go to war with the US. Uh, chemical oxygen generator. 5% increased uh, sub reliabilities. Nice. British medium bombers in service. We're going to be faster than our fastest medium, medium bomber. All right. Just keep going. Six months for these destroyers to be ready. U.S. offering sells to rights to improved armor development post-hardening tempering uh, process for... Yeah, we'll buy that. Uh, gradual improvement to armor quality is good. Currently baffled by the problems of increased muzzle velocity. Power mounts for light and medium AA. Improves light and medium AA effectiveness. Improved 2-inch gun quality guns. So one in uh, quality 1, 2-inchers. Counterintelligence people that Germany stolen technology... Should not get ourselves into a knot on this. It's Germany. Okay. A lot of these older designs. We need to... Once we build up these, we need to go ahead and start refitting some of these older light cruisers and stuff. See about uh, making them work like... Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, like, uh, actually... Yeah, you should be refit at some point. Coma definitely needs to be refit at some point. That's something we're looking into. There we go. Okay, next turn. Scientists report they're close to mastering improved surface search radar. That'd be nice. New torpedo bomber prototypes ready for evaluation. What do we got? Better speed on all of them. Better cruising speed on all of them. Range is comparable on most of these. Firepower is better, but all but one. Maneuverability is better. Toughness is comparable on one of them, but less on two others. Bomb loads similar to all of them. Okay. So let's look here. This one, its range is worse. This one, it's range. These two are the range is better, but we're losing toughness. So this one's closest in toughness. Firepower's worse though. Maneuverability's better. Range is worse by one here. Same on this one. Better on 
It's uh, better here, same here, worse here. Better cruising speed on both these. Get the maneuverability, lose the firepower by 50%. The Kyushu Torpedo Bomber. We're going to go ahead and take this. Yeah, we're going to take this one because if we go for the other one, we're losing too much toughness in return, even though we get a little bit more firepower. Uh, but our range is a bit better here by a little bit. And speed. Mm. I think we'll lose toughness, game maneuverability, firepower, and range. I think that's good. That's We get more benefits for the trade-off. So the Kyushu... Kawashi XTB-55. Except that. Let's look at aircraft types. That's Torpedo Bomber. Fighter is being replaced right now. Medium Bomber is currently being replaced right now. Yeah, everybody's good there. Okay. Let's keep going. Italy's proposed five-year security arrangement between our nations. Yes, we'll enter the security arrangement with you. It'll decrease our budget, but we need that, and when we go to war with France, which we will, we'll be in a better position. Negotiations uh, failed to... Ah, damn it. Our technology sharing agreement with Italy has been of great benefit to our research efforts in amphibious operations. TNT filler, gradual increase in shell damage. Improved surface search radar, so improve search radar 2 for surface search. That's good. Uh, new medium bomber, faster than our current medium bomber. Okay. Our budget went down, even though we don't have a treaty. So that's something. That's good to know. That is a bit glitched game. Very glitched right now. Well, all construction to you. Give us enough time for these destroyers to be ready. <sighs> Next turn. New destroyer commission in the Navy. You were asked in an interview which, which nation is most likely to be an enemy in a future war. What's your answer? Without a doubt, it is... France. Okay. Our scientists made unexpected advances in armor development. Advanced alloying. Okay. Gradual improvement in armor quality. Suffered temporary setback on the concept of aerial depth charges. Okay. Let's go ahead and resume you. Five months. Yeah, we should be able to. We should be able to work through that. Okay, next turn. Close to... Uh, uh, currently baffled by the problems of modern quadruple MA, uh, medium anti-aircraft mountings. Okay. Higgins boats. Uh, so improved invasion capability. So we're up to 700 nautical miles now. What does that put in range of our invasion range? All the French colonies there. Definitely the Philippines. Definitely Guam, if we ever go to war there. Not the Bismarck Archipelago, that's something. Solomon Islands, uh, Fiji, New Caledonia. Everything here, everything in Northeast Asia and Southeast Asia that's of importance. Though we are not going to get Singapore or Malaya anytime soon. Malaya Peninsula, that's what it is. That's something from earlier. I... I just popped into my head. Uh, okay, one more month and we should be in the black again. So let's keep going. Oil has been discovered in Sierra Leone. Okay, seven destroyers commissioned in the Navy. Good, good. Definitely in the black now. Which we're going to go ahead and resume construction to you. And you. Get these things out here. Let's keep going here. Two destroyers commissioned in the Navy. One of our mountain allies in the Asian mainland is threatened by a neighbor. What's your, what policy do you recommend? Back them unconditionally. Uh, well, in the way the understanding improved aircraft handling practices. Good, good. Okay, general increase in tensions with everyone who has colonies in Asia. Let's look at this. Open design for rebuild. Replace machinery. Better 14-inch guns. Yes, yeah, so if we did a rebuild for these turrets, what do we get? We have a three-gun turret. We could get a two-gun turret with 17-inch gun. 17-inch guns. 
18 inch gun, yeah. Okay, let's think about this. So we got that. Approved director, fire control. Director for the six inchers. Bring this up to 31, 30 knots. And we have replaced machinery, right? Yes, yeah, so. Then. Could add a port and starboard mount. No. Port and starboard mounts. Is that even doable? And oil. Add a mount for swivel mounts in the back. That gives us a lot of torpedoes just in case. And then we just pop the uh, anti-aircraft up. Two anti-aircraft directors. 20 medium anti-aircraft guns. 30 of these. Let's keep these going. Oh, we're over. Got that. And I don't think we can up this by any now. We could, if we wanted to, like, drop the torpedoes and we would probably get enough to get another knot out of here. But I like this. This is good. We're only over by a bit when we do this. We're going to rebuild this battle cruiser. The 1940 redesign of the Akoma class. The last of the Akomas. And we're actually still in the black there by a little bit. That's good. So, next turn... There's been an international, uh, there's been an internal upheaval in Borneo. If we send an expeditionary force to restore order, yes, we'll send it. Come on, fingers crossed. Okay, <sighs> fingers crossed. If I could roll, if I could blow on on the OK button like I blow on dice, I would. Come on. France has acted faster than we. Mm, Borneo is now under their control. Damn it. Improved aircraft handling practices, so increased maximum carrier size. Good. New German bomber. Okay. Well, hey, I think we got a new target for, uh, for we're going to invade these when we go to war and try and take them through land combat, but we're going to fucking take Borneo in the peace deal, I swear to God. Uh, okay. So, France is definitely our next war, so let's send some ships to deal with them down there. So, let's get the Oddball and the Iki. Move ship to Southeast Asia. Yes. Uh, some of our new and old heavy cruisers. Move ship to Southeast Asia. Yes. Two of these. Send them to Southeast Asia. Along with the Andronis, the Hosho, and the Akagi. Send them to Southeast Asia as well. And then a lot of these newer destroyers. Eleven. Do flat ten. That'll give us a good first strike force for a surprise attack, essentially, is what we're going for. Okay. Next turn. New Naval Secretary believes submarines are the key to victory. Of course, sir. Give us more budget, and we'll maybe blow them, build them. Our technology sharing agreement with Italy has been of great benefit to our research area efforts in ship design. Fleet tactics. Fleet train improves naval logistics and invasion capability. Good, good. Nakajima companies develop the fighter as a private venture. Are we interested in buying? Well, right now we have the uh, Shuka B... This is the Sinden. Uh, it's one year newer. It's a little bit faster in max speed, a little bit faster in cruising speed. Range is better in every bracket. Firepower is a little less. Maneuverability is a little less. Toughness is a lot better. And it's got the same bomb load. We lose a little firepower, gain toughness, we lose one maneuverability. 
I think this is worth it. I'll take the Nakajima. We'll do that. Okay, we got it. We're a thousand in the hole. But we're about ready to get a uh, windfall from a new cruiser being finished. So we'll keep going here. New heavy cruiser, the Nishin, is commissioned to the Navy. Technology share agreement, ship design with the. We got our uh, new torpedo bomber, the Kao. Kao. Kawashi. Kawa. Uh, Kawanashi. I've, I had it. Kawanashi. Uh, Bakio is. Uh, that'd be the. Biakio. Nah, I'm ready for operational service. Good, good. All right, there we go. France. We're going to war with France. We're going to war. Uh, we just need to figure out, uh, okay, so we need to Fort Bayar, so we need to look at our, uh, yeah, our coastal fortifications. So, uh, let's go ahead, Formosa, everything in Formosa, we need to go ahead, get you into the active, Caroline Islands, active, Caroline Islands, active. Boyard active, Luganville's active, My torpedo boats good, good, good. Activate all of these. You know what? Uh, let's just go ahead and kill you go to active. Okay, we can't do that. Uh, airships, get those active as well. I want all of our air bases active and ready to go. Give our pilots one month of basic training. Okay. How are we doing down here? Uh, we've got a pretty heavy force down here. I'm going to go ahead and send in our battle cruisers. You're also going to move to... Southeast Asia, along with the Yoshishima class dreadnoughts, move ships to Southeast Asia. Yes, you're still waking up. Northeast Asia, you. I'll keep you up here for a bit these guys are brand new you're gonna go into Southeast Asia as well we want a good like surprise attack force essentially uh, got that going for us the two Kaga class ships we're gonna go ahead and move them down to Southeast Asia we can go ahead and have the three Toyo class Move into Southeast Asia as well. And then destroyer-wise... Everything that's not obsolete is going into Southeast Asia. We're blitzing their Far East force is basically what I want to do. Because they don't have anything up here, but they definitely have things down here, including one light carrier... 2 AV, 11 destroyers. Yeah. We need to blitz them in, in uh, this area. Okay. <sighs> Next turn. Pay for men being late again. Fleet morale suffers. Okay. Yeah, we're late. Uh, our in, uh, Mitsubishi companies developed a float plane scout as a private venture. What do we want here? Uh, let's see. Better range. Our better speed, both brackets. Range is worse in all brackets. It's better maneuverability, less tough, uh, less uh, firepower, better toughness. No, we don't want this. The range is what we need for a float plane scout. Okay, we are definitely over for our income here. And we can't even support everything there, so... We're going to go ahead and just move couple of things out of Southeast Asia. Move ships to Northeast Asia. 
put you in reserve, save some money. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is halt construction of you, halt construction of you, and you, and you, and you. There we go. We're in the black again. We just need one thing to happen with France for us to go to war. But that'll have to happen next time because we're at the end of this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to, please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.